this is Peter McPhail with the Land Brothers, and um, here with Rick Terrio, and we're getting ready to start a solo project. Rick's, Rick's overseeing it. Yeah, I'm Rick Terrio. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a land brother from another mother, Realtree Land Pro, uh, and I, I won't call myself an off-grid expert, but um, I know enough to be dangerous. So I'm helping the helping the Land Brothers with their first solar install on a property that they have that's off-grid. Uh, we've got. Uh, about 12 330 watt panels. So we've got a Schneider inverter and some other components that have arrived now. We're not going to do the install until the spring, but we've got some of the components here. So when when the, when spring finally comes here in the North Country, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, these these uh, panels are going to be mounted on a pole pole mounted array. Uh, the, we have some batteries that will be coming later on in the spring because uh, we don't want the batteries just sitting around uh, without a charge on them. So those will come kind of about the time. Uh, the install is, is, is ready to rock and roll. But today uh, we're going to load those uh, panels and components uh, and take them out and, and store them on, on site uh, so they'll, they'll be ready and in the spring we'll bring on the batteries and whatever miscellaneous components we have. And, uh, Lord willing, in uh, about three, or four, three to five days we'll have it all up and wired and, and, and provided uh, uh, Clean energy, quiet energy, uh, out, out there at their uh, their hunting property, uh, out in the middle of the North Maine woods. So, if you're looking to buy your your large piece of land in Maine, um, we'll do a series of videos here with the solar install. So, get a hold of Rick, and, and Rick can get you set up with the right piece of property and work right through the whole uh, solar project as well. Right, Rick? Absolutely, absolutely. Good. All right, we'll be talking with you soon. Hey, this is Rick Terry, your main real estate guide on location here in Savoy's location. I'm not going to give you the exact coordinates of this, this uh, secret lair, but nonetheless, we're here uh, getting ready to put in a, an off grid solar power system. What I have at the back of the trailer is the post, and we're going to set it in the ground. We're going to pour some concrete around it today and begin the wire run. And uh, over the next uh, few weeks, we're going to populate this with a top routed mat, uh, uh, rack, as well as uh, a dozen solar panels and some batteries and inverters and all that. And we're going to have this place all modernized uh, with a top of the line off-grid uh, power supply. So schedule 80 galvanized pipe uh, pole that will be holding the solar array. So extremely heavy, so good thing we've got Mike Harris here with some heavy equipment to move it, and Rick to make sure it gets to where it needs to go. So, well, we're giving you a little update on uh, our progress so far. So we arrived this morning with some rebar and, and the post where we're going to ultimately put a, a top of the pole mounted uh, rack of uh, solar panels. We got the pole set in the ground. We got a rebar cage built around it. We got a section of, of a conduit run in, in under. It's going to be uh, encased in the concrete, and we got the wire run over here with some sand uh, to uh, keep the, the uh, conduit from uh, being crushed by rocks or whatnot. Uh, and so, how this is going to work is the solar panel is going to be mounted on the top of the panel. A wire run down to a combiner box, and the wire run goes into the ultimately into the garage, into the inverter, into the batteries, and uh, it's going to be quite a quite a system when, it, when it's all done. But right now we're waiting for the concrete truck to arrive to pour some concrete, and then we're going to let that uh, we'll finish that off so it's reasonably smooth, and then uh, walk away from it for a couple of days, and then come back and start assembling. <laughs> 